This Mount Vernon ranch has been home to livestock for generations, but the current grazers are a little different. These are miniature donkeys, one of the premier herds in the country, and the pride and joy of Julie Jones. Come on, you guys. Their personality is outstanding of all livestock. They are the most loving, comical creatures. It's why passerbys often stop in the middle of the road for a better look. Yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> Julie's had her share of farm animals. She's lived here her entire life. My parents were dairy farmers and they had a, a herd of registered Holsteins. I was the kid that always had to be in the barn, so I grew up with calves. Later on, I had pigs, sheep, steers. But she says nothing compares to raising mini donkeys. They're so nice. Well, hi. <laughs> just oh my gosh. gosh. And that's just their temperament. They're mm. just that docile. Right. And get a look at the babies. She's eight days old. There's just something about a donkey that's special. And they have a reputation as being stubborn, but they're really not. Once they trust you, they'll do about anything for you. And they really are like coming home to a bunch of big dogs. They live for attention and rolling on their backs for a good scratch. Their diet consists of grass and for a treat, grain. They love it like people love ice cream. A hot fudge sundae. <laughs> They're also Julie's leading source of puns. I'm going home and I'm going to scratch my ass. <laughs> With care and attention, it's no wonder miniature donkeys grow up to become models, Santa's helpers, and therapy animals. Some people use them for taking to nursing homes, working with troubled kids, working with autistic kids. There's something about them that just touches your soul. In short, they're the animal you never knew you needed in your life until you meet one. Everyone just can't believe how soft and friendly and calming they are. Yeah, can I just live here with you now, <laughs> please? So the next time you're driving on Best Road in Mount Vernon, keep your eyes out for dozens of miniature donkeys and their happy caretaker, Julie Jones. I've been a farm girl all of my life and I can't see myself doing anything different. Those are the cutest damn things I've ever seen. <laughs> they are so cute. So if you want one now, who can blame you? But there yeah. are some things that you need to know, okay? You have to have at least two because they need a pal. They're lonely okay. otherwise. Mm -hmm. You should have half an acre per miniature donkey, yeah. so at least an acre of land. And they can live to be 35, so wow. it's a commitment.